finally gonna get to show my setup, my geek setup in my electric road bike here. Oh, people always asking me how do you set up the throttle, how to set up your brake cut off, how do you set up your speed sensor, oh, basic things. But it's a massive challenge when you're setting up in a road bike. The geometry is completely different. In a road bike, it, everything is so tight, you can't put a speed sensor there. So I actually have to grind this thing off and bring it as close as I could to the frame, right? It's just like the plastic frame that holds the speed sensor. I don't know if you can see here, because otherwise you'd be touching the spokes, man. What about the cutoff, the brake, e brake cutoff in this thing? Well, you can't do anything because look at here, man. It's just completely different. You have to set up magnets and stuff there, do some dodge setup. Well, forget about it. If you got mechanical disc brake, which is very likely with uh, road bikes, so you just buy this thing, it costs like a $10, $15. Some websites are selling for $9, man. Some websites from China. So this thing you just run your cable inside there and then there's a little magnet that moves around so when you press the brakes the magnet just uh, just moves and then this thing senses and sends a signal and it just cuts the motor man oh my bbshd beautiful oh god powerful yeah and then you got here this uh the throttle and then people are like oh how do you They're like where is the throttle on your bike man because when i'm riding my bike it's just you that's the only thing you can see my hands here right you don't see moving fingers and doing anything but i'm actually moving my my finger here i'm actually like a well that's how i'm doing here see i'm actually pulling this left thumb throttle uh see i actually set up here using a t-joint uh like a copper t-joint that use it for like a plumbing and stuff same diameter as the handlebar and then i basically cut this thing off again i'm going to be showing a different video okay because i have to unwrap all this stuff here and actually show so you understand but yeah basically gonna show it from a different angle here right cool so it just looked like a big lump here coming out of my handlebar it's all same color all same material and it's just yeah pretty invisible see Woo -woo. and you still have a good grip here right so and then i got this on uh, my psychoanalyst mounted next to my buffang c961 display right and then this is my voltmeter that i made here this is not speed a lot of people think, think this is a speed and they think i'm always a 58 58 is 58 volts okay <laughs> this is just so i can see the the uh, voltage is sag in my battery uh, so just like a so i'm monitoring my battery pack here and then i got like a uh just like uh, everything here is waterproof right so i made all this thing so when you put it down so i got normal lights so i got 15 watts led lights here right so i got two right so each led here is five watts this i got from ebay pretty cheap you have to do some waterproofing and some uh, uh shock proof uh, adaptations here uh you can do it with the silicone gun uh, i'll be showing you in a different video i promise man i promise i'm gonna do all this stuff then <laughs> right so road legal sort of <laughs> and then you you turn down you you press the button down and then you get this thing shining the road but if you someone start messing around in front of you or if you're in a big storm and riding an electric bike you just go like Man, like you blind people in front of you, you turn all these lights on, and yeah, it's, it, it's much safer. So when I'm doing speed tests or something like that, I always go with 100% being, I just wanted this thing, like people see that there is a, like a, a rocket coming or something like shining up like that, right? <laughs> uh, cool. So yeah, so BBS HD, the new Sunflower Chain Ring, actually does a good job if you're going for top speed right so it's a 46 tooth chain ring man this thing and you go like wow oh, but what about the 52 tooth chain ring i don't know if your 52 tooth chain ring would be available for this mid drive but I, I can tell you now the rpm in this thing is much much higher than a bbs 2 and i'm going much 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 faster with this mid drive that i did with my bbs 2 and much more torque and it's just like a wow man like it, 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 it's the dream coming through. All the issues, no issues, but like things that you're like, oh, the BBS which you could be better, blah, blah, blah. All the things you have in your mind finally coming to a reality with this BBS HD, man. Beautiful, right? So it's just like a normal chain, blah, blah, blah. Well, and a massive full face. <laughs> motorcycle helmet yeah man this thing here protects your face protects everything man it's pretty pretty good man and i pay cheaper than a mountain bike helmet <laughs> right i pay i think 120 uh, australian dollars in the us it probably be like 99 dollars or something like that i got this um 
high amperage connector here. It's an anti-spark connector from Luna Cycle. It's thanks to Eric. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. It doesn't come with this waterproofing here. All right, I've done all that. Uh, but yeah, it comes with a nice silicon cable. It doesn't cause this big spark. Because there's a capacitor inside the motor. So every time you connect here, bah, there's a big spark. And this thing is just uh, destroying the connector. Every time you connect, bah, 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 it's just... Uh, Oh, it's just not good for the connector. Eventually, you're gonna have to replace it, right? But now, anti spark connector, you just connect it. Beautiful. This is my backpack with my battery pack inside. It's not a bomb, it's just my 18650 PF. Oh man, this is amazing. Right, I love this. Is my handmade, uh, homemade battery pack, right? <laughs> cool. Right, you're gonna take this thing for spin. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, BBS HD. Ah, yeah!